Alright, I couldn't. Alright, we're gonna be reacting to Andrew Tate vs Piers Morgan, bro. I did not expect to be seeing this one here. This is crazy. Oh, I saw it last time I saw like Jordan Peterson on this as well. And now I'm seeing Andrew Tate. It's got to be some sort of link there, man. But anyways, uh, let's let's see what this guy is. I don't know who's gonna. I've, me personally, I think Andrew Tate's gonna win. But I'm I'm gonna expect and um Piers Morgan to be interrupting interrupting him, Bears. But anyways, uh, let's just get into this. Let's go. Do you respect women? Absolutely. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Do you think that 18, 19 year old women are more attractive than 25 year old women? I think there's attractive people. Uh... Mm. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know. It depends. I don't know. That's that's a loaded question. I don't know. Well, it's not really, is it? I, I can't. You know why I'm asking? You. Of course I do, but I can't sit well, here and for say. For the benefit of viewers who don't know why I'm asking, you said this. In general, this is also one of the reasons men find youth attractive. You want to yeah. block the internet? I'll block the internet right effing now. The mm -hmm. reason 18 and 19 year olds are more attractive than 25 year olds is because they've been through less dick. People say. Oh, um, say that. oh yes. my days, sweet. Damn, they're they're more attractive because they've been through more uh, less dick. I mean, I mean, is he wrong? He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. But to make, uh, yeah, he's got a point though. He's got a point. Five-year-olds is because they've been through less dick. People say, oh, you can't say that. But yes, I can. A 19-year-old is more attractive than a 26-year-old woman. And I'll tell you why. Because that 26-year-old has talked to more guys, been to the club more times, been effed and dumped more times, Damn. more arguments, more mess, more for me to clean up. That... Is misogyny. Why? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's misogyny. I mean, it's a, uh, it's, it's a, uh, it's a partial fact. That's what I'm gonna call it. It's a partial fact. No, that's my term. Hopefully, that's a good term. I don't know. I and mean, that actually makes sense. But anyway, more mess, more for me to clean up. That is misogyny. Why? Because you are encouraging a mindset about 25-year-old women that makes them sound out to be infinitely less desirable than 18, 19-year-olds and having effectively been having too much sex to be taken in a more respectful way. That would, well, firstly, even if that was the case, that wouldn't be misogyny. But what did you mean by what you said? That's not misogyny because it's not anti-women. I'm, I'm mm. saying that an 18 or a 19-year-old woman would be more desirable. It's pretty anti-25-year-old woman. Anti-25-year-old women, we can argue, yeah. but not misogyny. Okay. Well, that's misogyny. That's, though, that's, no, 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 it's not. Uh, anti I mean, anti-25-year-old women. I guess, in a way, that's misogyny. I don't know, man. I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't smart, man. Woman at all. Uh, these oh, lot are the, these lot are, like levels above my IQ, man. Not when I'm saying that women are beautiful and attractive at a certain age and saying the age. You're saying 18, 19 years are more attractive than 25. Well, then ageist, perhaps, but misogynistic, mm. absolutely. Is that when it, but you just accepted it was misogynistic? Yeah, I guess ageist is the right term there. I didn't. You said it was misogyny. I'm telling you, no, it's not. But if a 26 year old woman is watching this and has heard those comments, yeah. would you just say to her, I, look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that? No, I won't. I will say that Damn. I'm sorry that that offends you. However, there's a large contingent yeah, of women. Yeah, okay, okay. That makes sense. Sorry if it offends you. And then, what? It doesn't and, mean you're sorry. Uh, no, I'm not sorry. That's the point I'm making. I'm sorry if that offends you. However, there's a large contingent of the world that believe that, and I was mediating for a conversation. Parts of the world mm. that believe yeah. that about 26-year-old women are parts of the world where women are not allowed out on their own. That's, your, that's a conversation. They have to have. wear full burkas. Well, that's a conversation. They're not allowed have. to drive cars. That's nothing to do with it. Is uh, that the I mean, I guess that's not really related to, think, to what you're saying, I think. But anyways... They wear full burkas. Well, that's a conversation They're not allowed have. to drive cars. That's nothing to do with it. But is that the kind of world for a woman that you... I was, mediating a, I was mediating a conversation. No, I'm asking you what you think. I, I don't live in a country where that happens. So you're using that as the excuse for why you're not sorry for saying it. It's not an excuse. Is that there are parts of the world where this is fine? My friend. So my question to you is, well, do you think it's fine? I don't think it's fine. I live in a world where... You don't think it's fine? My... The reason this I... isn't that hard, Andrew. You can simply say beers. You know what? Bro, what? let the guy speak, man. Oh, my days. I mean, I was expecting. I was expecting. <clears throat> bro, can I not say expecting? Oh, oh my days. Anyways. Bro, this guy is just bad interrupting. But I was expecting anyways. But, I mean, Don't I guess it's, it's classic Piers Morgan. So we can't really expect anything less. The reason this I... isn't that hard, Andrew. You can simply say beers. You know what? How many times do I just say expecting that loss? 
30 seconds. You don't think it's fine? My, the reason this I... isn't that hard, Andrew. You can simply say, Piers, you know what? With the benefit of hindsight, I wish I hadn't said it like that. And if a 26-year-old woman's watching, I'm sorry I said that, because that actually is blatantly misogynist. And even though that's a view held by other parts of the world, it's not a view I share. Now, mm, I would respect you geez. more if you said that. Yeah. Than if you try and say, well, it's said in other parts of the world, so I'm not sorry. I think you need... Mm, we... Yeah, he's got a point, got a point. Then you need to understand why my content existed in the first place. My content existed because I tried my very hardest to be an absolute and utter realist, especially with uncomfortable truths. Mm -hmm. I was pointing out that very uncomfortable... Is that a truth? truth? It's an uncomfortable truth in many parts of the world. It's not a truth that... No, it's, it's true, though. It's true. He is. He's, he's, he's... Bro, this is bad. This is mad. These two are both so sick at debating. This is this is crazy, man. Like, uh, I don't even know. Who even comes, who even comes at our top... Out? <sighs> who even comes out at top... Oh my days, man! Kill me, please. Who even comes out on top? Like, is this is gonna end up in a draw, Simon? man? Happy about an inquest this week found that a 14-year-old girl, Molly Russell, died from an act of self-harm while suffering from depression. Oh my and days! The negative effects of online content. The coroner said she was exposed to material that may have influenced her in a negative. Oh, that's mad. No, because that's sad though. Like. I don't know, killing yourself over online stuff, like, mm, that's sad. Must Wait, have been pretty bad, I guess. started with depression and become a much more serious depressive illness, and she's very sadly took her life. That's, that's absolutely disgusting. Right. Her father, it's terrible. Her father's mm. campaign for better protections against potentially dangerous social media algorithms, right? It says that the particularly graphic content she saw romanticised acts of self-harm, normalised her condition, and focused on a limited and irrational view without any counterbalance of normality. First of all, what is your response to that? Nothing to do with you. That's, yeah, it's, <clears> that's <throat> the first thing. Yeah, it's, it is nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. The fact that a 14-year-old girl took her life is truly sad. The world we live in today... <clears throat> Am I the only one who thinks he looks deep-faked? Uh, in Zion images, yeah. I think Andrew Tate looks deep-faked, man. Certain, like, in certain... Like ways that like, see this little bit here, this bit, and then like around here. It just looks like he's deep faked, man. I don't know if it's just me, but it's, yeah, I don't know. The I don't know. The, 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 maybe that's not the best image, but he actually looks bad deep faked in the other photos and stuff. The fact that something like that happened is almost mind blowing to me. That's truly, that's truly sad. I actually feel sad inside to see something like that. What has come clear to me in the interview? is that a lot of things you say you wouldn't say now that you've said before. But I'd say them differently, perhaps. You, you, yeah, right. So to me, that's an acceptance. Not just that you want to get back on platforms, because maybe that was one of the reasons you, you were no platform, but that you've recognised and understood the potential harm to the wrong kind of impressionable mind by some of the things you've said. Would that be fair? I think that's 80% fair. I recognise mm. and understand that with massive fame... <clears throat> You have yeah. to be more careful about being misconstrued. Yeah. Like I said earlier, yep. one percent of people That's in this true. Oh. And you doesn't matter with a small audience. It matters with a very large audience. Oh, that's that's a that's a good point, man. One percent of your audience for a small um, uh, influencer doesn't have as much effect as one percent to a larger audience. Yeah, that's true, man. That's true because obviously, one percent of his audience must be. A, like, I don't even know, man, like, a million people or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know, around that. Not a million, uh, maybe, like, I don't know, like, a, a wild, uh, oh, my days, can I not speak today? I need, like, bro, someone just come here, molest, oh, my. Bro, I'm, I'm even mad. Anyways, yeah, it's mad, it's mad. He's, he's got, like, I don't know, 1% of his audience is probably, like, a couple hundred K or something, but, yeah. Responsibility. Like, he's got a good point. I still there, believe though. the things I say. I do not want to be a negative force for the world. I also understand that I am a man who's lived a very difficult, nuanced life, and I am capable of making nuanced points that may be misunderstood by teenagers. However, that can be said about anybody and everything. Every opinion online can be misunderstood by children. Mm, Trying to true. protect children from the internet is a very interesting subject in and of itself because I would argue that 80% of the content on the internet is can be negative or detrimental to a young mind who doesn't understand the world. Mm. It's got a point. Damn, it's already finished. I, oh, I wanted there to be more, man. No, but I think... That last point there, that was pretty good, I think. 
I guess, yeah, I'd say about, I wouldn't say 80%, but I, I, there's a, I'd say most of the internet can be um, made, like, negative to younger audiences and stuff. But yeah, he's got a point, though, but I think he handled it, handled it um, kind of well in that last bit, other than all the interrupting, but I think he held himself, like, together and whatever. But yeah. Uh, oh yeah, here's the Jordan beat someone. But um, yeah, I think um that's gonna be about it for today. If you if you liked this, then just like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Um, leave a comment as well if you want me to react to anything else, and I'll get to that. But yeah, anyways, in a bit, peace.